Hello world, lockpicking dev. Today I have a master number 77. I have a, another one of these that you've seen me um, pick in Glacier National Park. This is a different one. Uh, none of these that I own have a key. So we're gonna give it an impression. Give it an impression, I'm gonna try to impression it. Here's our key already prepped. And the fourth line is a little bit gone there. I'm gonna add that real quick here. need to be perfect I just need to see it there we go and we're going to get moving on it this is four pins do see some marking here Let's see which one needs it the most All of them are marking very well, so what I'm going to do is go through and give a single stroke to each, because all these are marked exactly where they should be. Get it flattened out there, make sure it's in the right spot. There we go. There we go. Go with this, make sure there's no extra markings we're going to mistake. I think we're good. Looks like pin one. I'm going to double check it here. Pin one, we're gonna double check under this light. Yep. And there we go, pin one. Let's measure it. We are at a depth of one. Take it down to a two. Looks like pin one again. Again, I'm gonna double check under this light. Yeah, there we are. And before I get pin one, the other one's looking just a little bit rough, so I'm gonna take this 2000, where the hell's my, there it is, 1000 grit. And just go over these real quick, smooth them out. Take anything later. There we go. Pin actually before we do that, let's measure it. It's at a three, almost a four. It's so close, I'm gonna give it two strokes this time. See a lot of trail trail markings from the pens, but not a clear mark. A clear indentation. A little one-on-one. -on -one. So I'm gonna go 
go through. Very soft, even strokes. Check our key, make sure we're not bending it yet. Okay, have to put some extra tension on this sucker. The core inside is pretty loose. seeing anything so screw key is okay Nothing on one. Let's see if I see anything else on these. It's like pin two. There we are. Oops. Little slip there. Run this over these to get rid of those drag tails. Those things just bug the hell out of me. The core is so loose in there. Real pain. Okay, I see it all marking one and two. The one and two. That positive, the one on one is very faint. So I'm gonna give it a small stroke on one. Get that on two. Mark on three there. That is what it's looking like. Very faint. Looks like we have three. 
Yep. Good mark on three. Let's measure it. We're at a two, about a three. So we're going to take it down to a four. There we go. Mark on three, a very faint one and two. Actually, sorry, that is two. Both two and three. So what I'm gonna do is do a... Actually, let's double check under here. Two is a good mark. Three is very faint. Very small stroke of three. Four is looking pretty high. We might have to take that down. I can feel the pins turning a little bit, so I think we're getting somewhere. I feel them grabbing on the teeth as I'm turning it. Yeah, very faint mark on one, nothing on four. And since four is so high, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually flatten it out. It's sticking above everything else. I'm gonna, there we go. I'm not going to lower it at all. i take it down another depth. I'm going to flatten it out. Just so there's more area for marking, just in case it's the pin's just not quite in that groove that I have it at. There you go. Thousand grit there. And go over this all just a little bit with thousand grit. Smooth things out. Hold this thing as still as possible just because that core is so loose in there. It kind of fights against the shaking or the wiggling when you're trying to impression it. See, mark on four. We're going to take it down. I'll double check three here real quick though. Three is a very, very faint mark. So, what we do is four down against the highest, so I'm just going to flatten it.
I don't even know what I want to get rid of. Make sure I don't mistake it later. Go. Just marking four this time. Yep. Check everything else. Double check it. It is four. So four still pretty high up there compared to the rest. I'm just gonna go ahead and again I'm just gonna flatten it. Super rat. really rough, which isn't always bad, but I don't quite trust it. Obvious four right there. Actually, I hit three too. No, four is the obvious one. Three is just a blemish. Oh, there's our open. Alright, sweet. Alright, let's put it back on here. Let's turn it. Let's give it a jiggle just to see which pin here needs to be finished off a little bit. this thing just not held together that well. Look at that. <laughs> oh wow, look at that. That's insane. Look how far that comes apart. Yeah, it looks like maybe a soft stroke is will do it. Let's put it back in here real quick. Yeah. still catching a little bit. Like pin one might need a little bit of a, a little bit of a pass on it. Yeah, because if I pull it down it works. There we go. 
It is pin one and it still is a little bit cut, so we're gonna do a little bit. Smooth it out. There we go. We'll be okay with that. So what I'll do now is I'll copy this key and I'll just repeat the process. That way I don't break this key. And there we have it. We have a master number 77. <laughs> With a key that's being a pain in the ass. There we go. There's our open. So yeah. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.